Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Good morning. It seems there are many, many, moaning minis on the planet at this time, yet, for every negative, there is a positive. So that means there are many, many, happy Harry's counteracting the misery one indulges in now and then. Not so this week you will be pleased to hear. Let's get this show on the road with a blast of uplifting sentiment, if we may. Welcome Blossom, welcome all. We are very aware of conditions upon your planet that can bring one's vibration into a lower frequency, yet, we would also like to commend you all for the goodness and love you inject into those lower frequencies, dispersing and releasing them so that they have no place to belong. Remember too, dearest souls, that no matter what, your light is always doing something. Even if you are not aware of it. For light shines, it cannot not, and the level of light that you have reached within the soul self is far greater now than it ever was. Which means, even when you feel you are doing nothing to assist, your higher light is doing it for you. This light, this love, is your true self. It came to your planet to bring it back into the glory of that which your planet is. Therefore, your true self is always shining even when the ego, which is not your true self, is trying to tell you otherwise. So many of you now, are falling in line with the recognition of that which serves the soul and that which does not. Even moaning minis are aware of that. Upon this recognition, one removes as best they can, the thoughts that drag one under. For basking in the lower frequencies of self, although indulging for a while is acceptable, the desire to shine one's light once again, quickly kicks in and gratitude, as you know, is the key to the shift in frequency. IT never fails. Thank you. Of course, you are right. You know, Blossom, sometime soon, all that we have been speaking of regarding phase 2 will happen and we are trusting that instead of going into panic or misery mode, you will all feel elated because it means that the whistle has been blown. There will be a short time span for all that needs to take place in phase 2 to do so, and for the dust to settle. For indeed, it will feel as if a hurricane in a desert has arrived in each of your hearts. Got to interrupt. That is full on. Yes. Yet, we have never told you otherwise. That which is to take place will indeed be full on, as you say. It has to be, for the truth that is to be exposed is full on. I do hope the majority of us have the strength and wherewithal to keep moaning Minnie in the closet at this time. We know you will. For we have prepared you. So, even though the shock value will be off the charts, one must follow through with the confidence, that what is to occur after this period of security, there will be much to do, with no room to moan and complain. For you will be in the swing of it. You will be astonished at the changes that are to be put in place. You have an expression, Rome was not built in a day. It is not that Rome will need the time to be rebuilt, for that is already taking place behind the scenes. Yet, there will be much patience required as all plans for Phase 3 are locked into place. From what you are saying, Phase 2 is going to be a real quickie, compared to Phase 1? This is so. Doubting Dorothy popping in for a moment. We have heard about this for so long. This phase 2 also seems a little far-fetched. As did phase 1, before it took place. I know. Blossom and each soul who can contemplate that which we have to say, contemplate away, and yet, we say to you. This will take place. Yet, no. There is nothing to fear. For Phase 2 will bring about the greatest changes on the planet that have ever been. Again, full on. Again, agreed. Again, part of the divine plan. When we emerge from Phase 2, can you give us a hint of what to expect? Change. Great change. A new system. A new way of conducting that which serves the whole. I am sort of sensing like in a movie when a massive bomb or something has gone off and people come outside for the first time, looking around at the damage. Yet, there will not be the devastation of your buildings etc. We gave you that scenario, Blossom, in order to let you feel, that when the curfew is complete, 
it will feel very much like you are entering into a different light. Literally. There will be such a shift, that the very atmosphere will appear lighter. May we say categorically, that the greatest shift of all, will be within the self. For the truths that are to be told within phase 2. Will have a huge impact on the soul self and the processing of such news will indeed require great inner strength, in order for the soul to come out of it unscathed. It all sounds a bit daunting, to be honest. Yet, we need to be honest with you. The canvas that we are portraying is necessary, we do not wish to pull the wool over your eyes. Yet, it is so, is it not, that the same canvas can be painted over? You have to know within the core of your being that when you have come through all that you are about to face, the painting will be of such a beautiful energy of light. Shining down upon your Mother Earth. In a sense it could be said that it is like your world is to begin again. The darkness shall no longer be present. The new system that shall be in place will be one of fairness to all. You see, Blossom, the darkness that has governed your planet for so long, is the same darkness that has created all wars, all conflict, all drug trafficking, all human and child trafficking, all financial greed, it is the one darkness that has taken over all freedoms and rights. The same darkness that has enjoyed abuse in or of all forms. Yet, as phase two approaches, one must prepare the soul to encounter the truths of this darkness on a scale that many may not have braced themselves for. This in itself will cause much upheaval, for one cannot control how the human species will react and behave. Those in charge have done their utmost to take every possible scenario into account, yet, one, at the same time, cannot predict fully. However, what this does mean, is that during phase two, it will be apparent that the darkness has had its day. The darkness can and will no longer be allowed to exist on your glorious earth. Love conquers all. And we have told you many times. The light has won. We do not say. The light will win. We say, the light has won. So much, as you will discover, has had to be put in place before the grand finale. Not one soul will not be surprised at the scale of this mission and all that has been handled in years previous. If I were to ask who is conducting this divine plan, would you answer? You will find out soon enough. We will go as far as to say that it has been a top secret mission from both on and off world super intelligences. There was no chance of this mission failing. Yet, if one were to understand just a fraction of what this has and will continue to involve, one would definitely fall to the ground in awe. So then, this soon word, you slipped in earlier, you do understand, that to us folk down here it is known as a sort of joke? Yet, the way you have been speaking today does make me feel as if phase two is a little closer. Yet, again, how close is close? Blossom. No. The divine plan is already in full flow and when the signal is given for phase two to get underway. IT shall take place. MM. It is sort of dauntingly exciting. In the meantime, we keep on keeping on. Indeed. Understand too, as we mentioned earlier, we are not in control of the human mind and therefore, how each individual is to react to what is to come, maybe as we expected, or not. However, we know that each one of you each one who has so diligently shown their light in the darkest of times, will be there, for all those who have no understanding of what is taking place. You will be there, to lead them to the bridge. Such warriors of light are you. You have prepared and you are ready to do this. We have every confidence in your successful endeavor. We love you. Feel the depth of this love for you as you listen to these words.